This is this is a concerning amount of rectitude, especially considering like I'm wearing Dare Bobo armor. We trounced our foe, well and true. My daggers aren't that good. They're not updated. Become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Yeah, thief is crazy fun. Uh, I just got a a big ass bow there. Cool. Damn. Uh, that's that's real nice. Okay, what is strike strength? Can I view that? Huh. Yeah, I wonder why strike strength goes from zero to a hundred. Not sure what that is. Oh, there's more. Wow. Yeah, jerk. Oh, it's like piercing versus slashing. Oh, okay. Range, but all right. Ow. That was rude. Nice throw, girl. Damn. Are there difficulty options in this game? Uh, no. Oh, God. Where the Saurians? Keep in mind that our foe has a resistance to like Oh, dude, I've never seen this before. That's my magic spawn to an elemental boon. It's a zappy one. Drop any like unique loot? Rude. We've never seen that before. Oh. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. It is an exciting discovery. Could we would have never seen that. Yeah, these things are no joke, dude. some new moves. Bolt well scale. Well done, master. Okay, that's new. Not sure what bolt scale is. This looks like a door. Okay. Good talk. Nice. You could not like the spear hand. I love the spear hand. It is my main class, but I'm currently training up other classes to get their augments to make my spear hand even better. Guys, it is like nigh impossible to cut their tail off. I've been trying. Nice. Level 34 hype. You love to see it.
Uh, let's see. Hop, hop. I found some materials we could use to enhance our equipment. You can view their location on the map. You've mastered a most useful ability. Here, strike with lightning on your side. Battle is best avoided here. Um. Hey, we finally got his tail. Everyone's high five, and I love it. So it seems like there's definitely it's more rather high. up there. It might be beyond our reach. Master, I believe I could be evade here. Might I be of assistance? Oh, that works. <laughs> hey. There we go. Tried to cancel it like three times, but didn't take. Oh lord. Um. Oh wow! Did that kill him? Okay. Just applying the fire to my uh, daggers killed that guy. Pretty well. Copper stone. That's not copper. Oh, that's new. Huh. There we go. Yeah, dude, I don't know what this stuff is, but this is not normal. Interesting. That's a good piece of gear. Shall we put it to the Gauntleted place? Gauntleted petticoat. Oh, wow. It's fighter something. I don't even have the class. Interesting. That's a lot of great resistances on that. Damn. Certainly bears inspection. Hey, Rannon. What's up, buddy? How are you? What's up there? I can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. Allow me, master. Tis within my reach. I would gladly be obeyed, Arisen. If you have a fighter pawn, and that fighter pawn has the ability to hold his shield up and catapult another character up, can you instruct your fighter pawn to do that? Or will he do it automatically? In situations like that, he will do it. Okay. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. That's super handy. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. I wonder if we want a fighter pawn like just for that. Hmm. Oh, Warrior has it too? Ah, oh, I'll take that. I didn't know Warrior had Springboard. Cool. All right, how are we getting down? The place we want to go next is here. So to be honest, I think it'd be faster to... Yeah, let's, let's Fairy Stone and let's take the cart. We'll also do a big... Uh, big drop-off. We need to go to Harv again, too. We do need to go to Harv again. But we can we can take the cart and then go back to Harv. Okay. We also gotta go back to Melv. In fact, let's let's do Melv next. We gotta we gotta go to Melv to not only check in there but also buy that book. Let's go We've do that. We made it then. What's our first order of business, Arisen? I feel a lot better. I fear I've not useful. To I feel a huge amount better knowing that that elf guy isn't dead. That was really concerning me about passing time because I didn't want to like miss him in the morgue. But I think we're okay. I think we're okay.
Is this game any good? This game is amazing. <laughs> yep. Uh, just buttered. I have not. No. Is it hard to find the fast travel stones? I've only found one the entire game. Yep. I've only found one the entire game. So, it's not easy. You need a permit to enter Batal, but they've become quite difficult to acquire of late. Ah, oh, good to see you. Those garments you gave me had a marked effect. Albert set off to work the moment he saw them, and he's been working steadily ever since. I ne'er thought I'd see the day. To be frank, I've not the slightest interest in the man, but he can surely benefit this city much more by performing an honest duty than by begging on the streets. Oh my god. In short, you've done us all a service. Pray, allow me to show my appreciation. Ogden says, hey there, first time here for me. Well, hi to you, friend. Welcome to our Twitch channel. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here. Okay. Now to report to Captain Brant. Three onyxes. Was that it? Okay. I scared him away. Oh, did I? Dang it. Things were going so well. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Uh, she's banging him. There is banging afoot. Hi. Bye. I thought I was being careful. How'd she find me out? Sorry, Kasuga. Trey, follow me. Oh, Illumination says, Thanks for providing me and everyone with great streams and a wonderful community to be a part of. I say this a lot, but keep doing what you do. Good vibes from Norway, as always. Oh, no! Dog, did you just... Hold on, hold on, hold on. My sleepy puppy just slid off my lap. Or tried to. But I caught him. Don't forget. <laughs> You okay? Look at that little blip. See that little blip? You guys, do you guys see this? You guys see a little blip? A little blip. Following along, I trust. Look, look at that little teensy Take tiny tongue. Take care not to lose sight of me. <laughs> he's gotten so big, he's gotten, he's gotten big. He's gotten big. Oh, he's so tired. He's so tired. He just wants to sleep with his little blip. <laughs> Okay. What breed is this? This is a French bulldog. Would you mind coming yep. over here? Yep. This little this little bulldog was part of a litter that was actually uh, scheduled to be put down. Him and his two sisters, and that's because the person that brought them in, uh, they have what are called a a a a small what's called a cleft palate, and. Um, people can get them too. And the thing is, is that the cleft palate he has is not that bad, but the person that brought them in basically was like, yeah, I just don't want to deal with it, so we're just going to put the litter down because they all have it. And one of the people who worked at the vet, the, the veterinary practice that this guy brought these puppies into was like, yeah, I'm not going to let that happen. And she this took looks sturdy enough the to little climb. boy and the two little girls and found them home. So, uh, this is little boy, Fenrir's little boy, and his sister. Funny enough, the vet kept one of the sisters, and then um, the other sister has another home too. So they're all, they're all good. What is a cleft palate? It's basically like when 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 you're uh, when you're younger. This is for animals and humans. When you're younger. You, the top of your mouth isn't fully fused and your skull plates aren't fully fused. And then as you get older, Follow all of like would. very quickly, all of that stuff comes together. Like the skulls, the skull fuses, the top of the mouth fuses, stuff like that. But every so often, unfortunately, um, that doesn't that doesn't properly happen. So in Fen's case, if you open his mouth and look across the top of his mouth, he has a gap. Only about that big. Not, it's not, you know, it's tiny, but the top of his mouth has a little gap. And the little gap goes into his, um, is the underside of like his nasal cavity. So, um, is it, is it bad? Not necessarily. As they get older, they can actually 
it can actually fuse itself, which we're hoping. There is a surgery you can get, but the thing is, is what we have come to learn after looking into it more is unfortunately the surgery comes with its own set of problems. And there are times when the surgery can actually make things worse. So at this point, it's very much like a quality of life thing. Fenrir is ha very happy. <laughs> Fenrir is a very happy dog. His cleft does not affect him that much. Um, like, you know, I see our goal we know changed. how to keep an eye on it. We know how to manage it. I would not so presume to direct our course, we may not do, do anything. let me know if you require a guide. We may not do anything. It is not for us to gain safety so, or we'll judgment. See. We must go where we are bid. Just like all decisions, decisions when it comes to your pets, at the end of the day, it just comes down to quality of life. That's what you got to do. If if your animals are happy, if they're good, if they're if they're feeling good, then you do what you can. You do what you got to do. But you know, unfortunately, it almost always gets to the point with pets where you have to make the decision that their quality of life just isn't there. Um, but in Fenrir's case, even with all his problems, he uh, he's doing great. So we'll do everything we can, and we'll follow all the vet's advice, and yeah, he's doing great. So, doing good. Okay. Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. Uh. It, is this like a story thing, or was it just not time? Ox carts make for relatively oh, safe oh, oh. travel. We should Walking check our vocation. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Uh, we can we can actually do the vocations at the at Melv though I think. Wait, what? Where did he, there he is. This ox, I'll not take right. you anywhere till I've had my due. There we go. All right. So again, plan is go to Melv, get the book, come back, go to Border Town, start the forge, go north, check that area out. Go back, We're get the forge, out. start the next Jump one, on and then we'll figure out what we want to do from there. Yep. I'll not take that. Great. Light your lantern, master. Beware! Oh. The Minotaur is coming! Ice attacks will soon see the smoke out. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the enemy. You've been doused in oil. You must steer clear of fire. Good show. Thank you, Ship Doctor! God, the shreds. To have I've probably the killed. Oh! Set for me. Well said. My patience wears thin. <laughs> Never done that before. <laughs> Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Ship Doctor, thank you so much for that 10 bomb, by the way, buddy. Really appreciate your support. Welcome to the 10 new folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really do appreciate it. You're not meant to be in here. Halt! Who goes there? This village is under the direct authority of Her Grace the Queen Regent. We are to grant no unknown person's entry. Offer a bribe. 
Glad we understand each other. You... Oh. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. Oh, dude. I have a selection of wares that's sure to... Okay, I am... So hey, there it is. I am super glad we came here. Because... Fulminous shield, eh? Tis a bargain, I reckon. I picked it up in Melv after the dragon attacked. Can't speak for its contents, but it certainly looks valuable. You got anything else good? Ring of aggression boosts strength. Uh, I don't have any of these. Let's buy one. Um, Ring of regeneration. The wearer recovers health upon defeating a foe. I'll buy that. Okay. If you're looking to buy, just say the word. Pleasure doing business with you. Dude, did I get another quest? Whoa. You dare incite my wrath. Bro, bro, bro. Be gone from here if you value your life. I ne'er stood a chance. Ugh. All my years snuffed out. In the blink of an eye. This guy's like going in to hit that dude again. Good luck. You dare incite my wrath. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, it's good that we know. That's kind of cool. Stop this. I beg of you. That's enough. There must be some way out of this. I'm done for, aren't I? Give it up. You've nowhere to go. Damn. Well, this situation turned kind of super nasty. Who are you? This can't be how it ends. Here at the inn, we I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. Ooh. Oh, Helm Splitter! There it is! Oh, hell yes. Give me that. Cry right, meow. Um. Okay. Actually, let's do Helm Splitter. You go here. Uh, Blades of the Pyre. You go here. Ensnare. Oh. Oh, that looks awesome. Concussive step. Uh, looks kind of cool. Outer charge. Okay. Oh, wow. You can set a bomb on their spine. It seems good. Um. Hmm. Controlled fall. Cool, great. Robs the target of an item when an attack connects. Activates when using carve, but has a low success rate. Elf. Carve is just... But enough about me. Did you need some? Always a pleasure. Yeah, it's just the X skill. Oh, that's amazing. So my, my basically my normal attack gets a chance to steal every time I attack. Okay. Okay. I beg of you. You there. Beg pardon, sir. Oh. This is it. You're not meant to be in here. What to do? Oh, dude. Give it up. You've nowhere to go. Well met. Glad to see you in good health. The tyranny of the Queen Regent's faction knows no bounds. Passage into and out of the village is restricted, and we're being treated as slaves. I had intended to endure it till Ulrika returned to us, but I fear the villagers have already reached their limit. 
I'll be honest with you, as you've earned my trust. We've a mind to leave this village for good. Whoa. The dragon's flame has devastated the land here. Many of the villagers question whether it is worth attempting to restore it. When I mentioned as much in a letter I had smuggled to Ulrika, she told me that the village she's staying in would be glad to take us in. Hey! Only problem is how we're going to get past the soldiers. They've confiscated all weapons to forestall our escape. Perhaps if we could reclaim the stolen weapons or find a means of procuring some anew, we could force our way out through strength of arms. I feel like there's a better way. Alas, we villagers are kept under constant watch. It would be unwise for us to attempt aught on our own. You are our only hope in this matter. Pray, lend us your aid. Interesting. Procure four swords and give them to Lenart. Okay. So apparently that's exactly what we're going to do next time. Thank you, chat, so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a good time this morning. We'll be back with more of this, of course, in the very near future, as I am loving it. So I hope you join me for it. Uh, I'll be back this afternoon. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to kick you over to my alt channel slash co for some Pasco. You can hang out with him for a little bit. I'll be back after lunch, probably around 1230 or so. We're going to get in a nice hour to an hour and a half of Final Fantasy VII, start our rebirth playthrough back up. And then we've got a sponsored stream from two to four. We'll be checking out a new game then, for those who want to see a new game. And then this evening, we're going to do some Yakuza drinks and side questing in Infinite Wealth and Like a Dragon. So it's going to be fun. So anyway, that blip, look at that blip, look at that blip, blip, you can kind of see it there. But anyway, I will see you guys in just a little bit. As always, thank you so much for being here. If you want more Dragon's Dogma 2, make sure to follow me over on YouTube or be here tomorrow morning. And I will see you guys soon for more fun and games.